Dear friends, welcome again to my channel Geo Technical Engineering Consultancy Tips. This is 39th lecture of my series, and today I have decided before starting with the bearing capacity in soil, let me just show you the glimpse of the method of calculating bearing capacity for shallow foundations on rocks because India में काफी rocky terrain भी है लोग geotechnical engineering में basically focus करते हैं soil पे bearing capacity निकालने का हम एक hint आपको करना चाहते हैं कि हम अपने series में I will definitely be covering with rock also and that is why I have put in this lecture of mine before I discuss with you in my just upcoming lectures after these on the bearing capacity of soil. So now, today I will be discussing upon the subject topic construction of shallow foundations on rocks as per Indian Standard Code IS 120701987 latest reaffirmed 2010. Maybe ये code उसके बाद reaffirm हुआ है तो उसमें बहुत चेंजेस नहीं है बट आई विल बी कवरिंग विद दिस नाउ शेलो फाउंडेशन ट्रांसफर्स लोड थ्रू डायरेक्ट बियरिंग प्रेशर ऑफ बियरिंग स्टार्टअप अप टू थ्री मीटर फ्रॉम नेचुरल ग्राउंड लेवल इन केस ऑफ रॉक्स दिस हैज बीन मेंशन इन दिस वेरी गुड रॉक्स मे बी हाइड्रोजीनियस विच मे रिजल्ट इन लार्ज डिफरेंशियल सेटलमेंट और सडन फेलियर Hence the need arose for such a code. So now, whenever we go to any rocky site, main three or four tests which are being done on the cores collected from the site are uniaxial compressive strength, point load strength index, index test, and on field core recovery, rock quality designation. And few other relevant tests, but I will be covering about those in future lectures of mine when I will be connecting with this rock part later on in my series. Now, the methods for determination of safe bearing pressure on rock, which have been specified in this very row in this very code, is are six in numbers. Number one is rock mass classification. That is, in which very case we identify the kind of rock being encountered at the site at the proposed founding level for any respective structure and in the influence zone beneath it. So, this code has <coughs> defined one, two, three, four. Five, six, six kinds of uh, rock. This ki aage they have mentioned the safe bearing capacities to be adopted for that very kind of rock if it is being met with at the site, and they have been defined as <coughs> granite, diorite, gneiss, nice and trap. Number one, schist. Or slate, number two. Sound limestone, number three. Sedimentary rock, number four. Like hard shells, sandstones, number five is broken bedrock. Like soft limestone, and number six is soft shale. Now the second is. RMR rock mass rating. Rock mass rating is basically a sum value of rating the rock based on six properties. And what are those six properties? Is the UCS uniaxial compressive strength of rock, RQD rock quality designation of rock, spacing of discontinuities, condition of discontinuities. 
ग्राउंड वाटर कंडीशन ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ डिसकॉन्टिनिटीज एडजस्टमेंट फॉर ज्वाइंट ओरिएंटेशन इन सब वैल्यूज को हम रॉक के कोर पे निकालने के बाद जो सम टोटल आता है उसको हम रॉक मास रेटिंग कहते हैं एंड रॉक मास रेटिंग आर डिफाइंड एज वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव फर्स्ट वन इज बीइंग टर्म्ड एज वेरी गुड सेकंड गुड थर्ड फेयर फोर्थ पुअर फिफ्थ वेरी पुअर बेस्ड ऑन द वैल्यूज ऑफ आर एम आर एज बींग रिटर्न हेयर जिसकी ये रेंज हमने आपको मैंशन कर दी है सिक्स हंड्रेड टू फोर फोर्टी एट फोर हंड्रेड फोर्टी टू टू एटी एट टू हंड्रेड एटी टू हंड्रेड फोर्टी वन वन हंड थर्टी वन टू फोर्टी एट फोर्टी फाइव टू थर्टी ये वैल्यूज भी एक अमेंडमेंट पास हुआ था नवंबर टू थाउजेंड एट में उसके अगेंस्ट है हालांकि कोर्ट में थोड़ा डिफरेंट वैल्यूज है बट डी ज्यादा फाइनल वैल्यूज टू भी अडॉप्टेड इन दिस वेरी केस नाउ बेस्ड ऑन कोर स्ट्रेंथ दैट इज द यूनिवर्सल कॉम्प्रेसिव स्ट्रेंथ Which uses the equation Q S as equal to Q C N J, where Q C is the unilateral compressive strength and N J is the coefficient based on spacing of discontinuities, which value varies from 0.1 to 0.25 to 0.40 as per this code. Now, fourth method is on the basis of pressure meter test, in which very case an equation has been given in the code, and which is Being generally used when rock is of very low strength, having discontinuities at very close spacing, and are weathered and fragmented. Number fifth is the normal plate load test, which is being governed by Indian Standard Code IS 1888982. Latest revision, if any, to be followed. Number sixth is are the other factors. What are these three other factors? Submerged under water table. In which very case this factor varies from 0.5 to 0.75. Cavities, which is a factor of half, being used only if we encounter limestone that too with major cavities and having core recovery less than 70 percent. Number three is the slope effect, in which very case the type of orientation with continuous joints in slope. मतलब that is this is based on this very Uh, kind of thing and these values range from 1 by 3 to 1 by 2 to 1 ab kya hai whenever we do calculate the shear bearing pressure by this equation we can apply these three factors on it as well in this very case for finding out the final shear bearing pressure in the end i what i wish to say कि जब कभी हम किसी शेलो फाउंडेशन के लिए कोई बेरिंग कैप्सिटी कैलकुलेशन करते हैं तो वी शुड यूज ऑल दीज मेथड्स वन टू थ्री फोर अगर हम सैंपलिंग के बेस पे करते हैं फिफ्थ वन इज द फील्ड टेस्ट सिक्स में जो वैल्यूज दी हैं वो हम पॉइंट नंबर थ्री पे अप्लाई करते हैं और इसमें से जो लीस्ट जो लीस्ट वैल्यू आती है द लीस्ट एमंग्स दीज Uh, four is being recommended as the safe bearing pressure for that very foundation in that very particular case. And in the end, what I wish to say is, the code may point be a why that safe bearing pressure recommended should always be less than the safe UCS of lean concrete labeling codes being used as the foundation. Otherwise, virtual plain concrete be there. and before laying the foundation for such very cases in uh, <coughs> rock for shallow foundations any loosened pieces of rock need be removed from the site before laying such kind of foundations last is for any reinforced cement concrete rcc strip foundation if to be given on any heterogeneous soil or rock deposit longitudinal reinforcement along walls need be provided so friends this is what i wish to explain you in this very lecture of mine hope you would have understood my lecture keep on watching my further lectures iske just baad main soil ke major factors soil bearing capacity nikalne ke bearing capacity for foundation and soil mein what are the major factors impacting that 
I would be covering that very lecture in immediately after this lecture of mine and then I will be following with that uh, very subject topic of bearing capacity of soil in series to finish it off completely. Hope you have a lecture. Keep on subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.